Hello everyone. There is a story of a boy walking down a road when a frog called to him. Boy, if you kiss me, I will turn into a beautiful princess. The boy picked up the frog, smiled at it, then placed the frog into his pocket. A few minutes later the frog said, "Boy, if you kiss me, and turn me back into a beautiful princess, I will stay with you for a week." The boy took the frog from his pocket, smiled at it, then put it back into his pocket. A few minutes later the frog said, "Boy, if you kiss me and turn me back into a beautiful princess, I will do anything you want." The boy took the frog from his pocket, smiled and put it back. Finally the frog cried, "Oh boy, what is the matter? I have told you that I am a beautiful princess, and if you kiss me, I will stay with you and do anything you want." The boy took the frog from his pocket and said, "Look, I am just a student. I have no time for a girlfriend. But a talking frog is cool." friends we have spent 40 days in prayer fasting penance and spiritual reflection to prepare ourselves for today's celebration the resurrection of the lord i would like to ask you do you personally and truly believe that jesus christ is alive he is risen he has conquered death he has overcome darkness he is our lord and savior If you do then hallelujah amen If you do not yet believe then what does the resurrection of Christ mean to you Why are you here today I put the question to you because how and what we believe affects how we live We may regularly go to church say all our prayers sing hymns participate in all the religious activities celebrate many more easters and yet not be moved or changed a bit in our life we can still be the same as we were yesterday for some christians today is just another sunday with perhaps a few changes in the worship the color of vestments the decorations and the duration of the liturgy Some of us could get quite complacent and be indifferent to the whole celebration though our body is here our mind and heart could be somewhere else we may not be really focusing on what we are doing here and now it is because i'm afraid that many people perhaps see jesus christ as a talking frog whose teachings and miracles are very cool and bring a lot of comfort and that's all no doubt some of us warmly and gladly welcome jesus into our life too remember while he was on earth many people liked him they followed him wherever he went they admired his knowledge and wisdom they applauded his miracles and wonders the disciples witnessing a transfiguration and appearance with moses and elijah on mount tabor said to him lord it is good for us to be here but how many people really believe in his promises and obey his teachings jesus said to the jews who believed in him if you make my word your home you will indeed be my disciples you will come to know the truth and the truth will set you free friends it is one thing to be baptized in jesus name proclaim him as savior and keep christian symbols and images in our pocket in our homes and in our churches and it is another thing to truly believe in his promises and make him part and parcel of our life the latter is what he wants us of us 
Through the resurrection, Christ is offering many gifts to us. However, four gifts are worth reflecting on today. First, the reason Christ promises the forgiveness for our sins. John says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all righteousness. According to the scriptures, the punishment for sin is death. But now, because Jesus has died for our sins and is resurrected, he has conquered death and brings forgiveness of sins to those who trust him. Therefore, let us confess our sins honestly, sincerely and in faith, relying wholly on his mercy and grace for complete forgiveness and our deliverance from the darkness of sin. Second, the risen Christ offers us the gift of peace. Jesus said to his disciples the night before his death, My peace I give you, my peace I leave with you. When he appeared to them after the resurrection, he said to them over and over again, Do not be afraid, peace be with you. As we look around at our hearts, our lives and our world, one wonders if anyone is interested in accepting the gift of peace. Many times we just don't seem to want the gift of peace. We seem quite comfortable making ourselves and others miserable. Or we try to make peace on our own by taking charge of it ourselves and not relying on God to help us. Friends, let us remember that the gift of true peace is available only through mercy and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today he comes back and shares his peace with us as well. He offers it to us as a gift. He wants us to live in his peace. He wants to make peace real within us and around us. As Easter people, we can take that gift of peace seriously and make it part of our lives and share it with others. Third, the reason Christ promises eternal life. Jesus says in the Gospel of John, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. Imagine, our Lord loves us so much that he wants to be with us for eternity. He gives eternal life to those who believe in him. Four, the reason Christ promises the, gift, the Holy Spirit. Jesus says in the Gospel of John, But I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. The Helper of whom he is speaking here in context is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is important in our life. He is the one who teaches and helps us understand the truth. Today, the risen Christ comes back to us in the fullness of life without a trace of anger, resentment, revenge or bitterness and wants us to accept these gifts. Friends, let us receive his gifts with gratitude and joy and praise him forever. Amen. Happy Easter. Hallelujah.